Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is how recent browser certificate security updates are breaking security. On January 1st, Mozilla made the choice of releasing a version of Firefox that started rejecting SHA-1 generated digital certificates. If you haven't heard of SHA-1, it's one of the many hashing algorithms used in cryptography. I don't have time to go into it in detail, but if you haven't heard of hashes, you should check out the Wikipedia article. In any case, over the years, research researchers have found weaknesses in many hashing algorithms, like the totally broken MD5 and SHA-1, which has some new recent vulnerabilities. As a result, security organizations and browser manufacturers out there are starting to realize SHA-1 certificates are weak, so we're starting to actually depreciate them and get them out of our products. Now, Mozilla actually took a very hard stance here, choosing at the new year to actually reject these certificates outright. However, today's story is how Mozilla has stepped back from that decision. Apparently, their new browser has been preventing some security products from working. Many security products out there, including WatchGuard's XTM and Firewall appliances, have HTTPS, or Secure Web Traffic, decryption gateways. These are gateways that allow us to see within HTTPS traffic so that we can still apply things like antivirus and intrusion prevention, because lots of malware authors are starting to use HTTPS to hide their attacks. In any case, to do this, we have to use a digital certificate that you as an administrator accept in your organization. Apparently, many security providers out there are still using SHA-1 certificates, which means their entire HTTPS inspection algorithm breaks with Mozilla's new browser, which is why they've now released an updated version of Firefox that allows SHA-1 again. However, if you're a WatchGuard customer, you might be asking, what about us? We have a HTTPS ALG, and we need a certificate for that as well. Are we affected by this SHA-1 rejection? Now, the good news is our previous release, 11.10.4, actually started using SHA-256 certificates for our own root certificates, so we wouldn't have been affected by this Firefox change. In fact, just today, we released 11.10.5, and it takes this step even further in that every device will be SHA-256. So two takeaways here. If you have any security products that fail because of maybe this Mozilla SHA-1 rejection, you might want to go to Mozilla's site. They have a new version for you that will allow SHA-1 again. On the flip side, if you're a WatchGuard customer concerned about this potential browser change in the future, don't worry, you're covered as long as you get the latest version. We do support the new SHA-256 certificates. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.